So this video is an experiment where we're just going to heat up some water. Um, we're going to be able to see the temperature change and you'll hopefully get some results from it. The first task is going to be to light the Bunsen. So let's see if you can check that I do it all right. Am I doing everything correctly? Bunsen is lit. What I do is I put the tripod over one side and you can see the, the empty hole, one of the empty holes is available to slide the Bunsen in and out. Gauze on top. First experiment is going to be 100 mil. Good. Let's get the thermometer in there. I'm trying not to let the thermometer touch touch the bottom of the beaker because the, the glass at the bottom is going to get hotter than the water. So I want a correct reading. I want the um, thermometer to read the water, not the glass beaker. Now twist the collar. And then I slide it under. If you're doing the experiment yourself, you'd obviously um, sort of stop watching now, but once I slide the thermometer, once I slide the Bunsen under, I'll start my stop clock and monitor the temperature for whatever time period, maybe five minutes. Um, but what I'm gonna, um, what I'll do later is I'll very carefully, I'll remove the thermometer, I'll very carefully empty the water and refresh it, um, and I'll do it with 200 mil, and then I'm gonna do it with 300 mil. So if you, if you don't want to watch the rest of the video, that's the, what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna heat up the water. I'm gonna start the stop clock now. I'm going to move you in so that you can read the temperature better. And we're at 30 seconds and it is 28 degrees.
Now at two minutes, 30 seconds, 60 degrees Celsius, it's coming out of view. So I'm just gonna have to make some adjustments to the camera. Three minutes. I'm so going to make some adjustments to the thermometer setup. Three minutes 30, 77 degrees. It's okay, don't worry. But they don't do it this in this program, as long as you don't mind being in the video. And we're just approaching five minutes, so we're going to stop in a moment. Doesn't matter. You should introduce yourself to the watchers. Uh, here we come to five minutes now. So, I'm going to zoom us back out. Zoom us back out. Then I'm going to remove the thermometer carefully. Then I have some tongs to help me lift my beaker safely up the um, tripod. Very carefully. Get some help if you're not confident. I'm going to take the Bunsen out and return it to the safety flame while I deal with this. And pour away the water. And then we don't want the glass to shatter, so I'm going to leave it to cool for a minute. For the purposes of this video, I'm actually just going to use a different one. just to speed up this video. That's not ideal, why would it not be ideal? Look, look at the beakers, they're different, so that's not ideal, but here we go. So here we have the experiment for 200 ml of water. I've got my gas working again. Uh, just twist the collar to make it a blue flame and set it going. Set our timer at the same time. You can see the start temperature of 24. Coming up to 30 seconds now. Now, 28 degrees.
we're approaching the five minute mark now, 4.50. And five minutes now. For convenience, I've actually set up um, the 300 mil one ready. So because it's just me doing it right now, so all I'm going to do is bring the Bunsen out, put it on the safety plane, and I'm going to move the Move that beaker out of the way. You can see something called temperature lag here, which is where the thermometer is dropping. So if you put the thermometer in and read straight away, you won't get an accurate reading. You have to let it slowly come down. Okay, we can read that, can't we? Just gonna try and rotate it a little bit. Uh, it's almost there. Let it cool down properly. Turn the flame up. Get your stop clock ready to do the next reading. And here we go. Bunsen under. Make sure your stop clock's going. So you can compare your school. 
show is if you do it every two years, you can find that out about the way. You can find out if the kids are making progress. Because the test is harder each year. So if they do the same in a test, then they are making progress. No, they do the they get they get like a fifty percent. Two years later they get fifty percent. It's a harder test, so they have made progress. That's normal progress. If they go 50, 60, they've made extra progress on normal. So I think it's possible. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's, 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 like, it's for the school, it's not really for you, but. Just approaching five minutes. So hopefully you would be. No, no, wait. And stop. So hopefully you. I'm going to turn the gas off. You'll see the difference in temperature rise between the smallest beaker of 100 ml water, the 200, and the 300. There should be a difference and you could even plot a graph of it. So um, there's a couple of different results tables we could do. I'm just going to come up with a way of allowing you to see my board. I think oh, the best thing to be doing would be resting it on something like that. Okay. Um, uh, one of the ways of doing the results as you're going along is always it's always good practice to have the time. So we have 100 mil of the time in seconds and the temperature in degrees Celsius, and you have 0, 30, 60, 90, all the way up, um, and you record the temperature as like 24, 26, 28, 31, going all the way down, right? And so we can see the temperature increase. So then we can make another results table. We'll do this again. We'll do a new one for 200 and a new one for 300. And then you make another results table where you do volume in milliliters and temperature increase in degrees Celsius. So we have 100, 200, and 300. And we look at the difference between the first number and the last number. If you mess up your results, or you think, well, this if there's sudden changes, doing it like this will allow you to see. But 24, and then whatever it was at the end, 80. So I do 80 minus 24, and that would give me 50. 6 degrees Celsius. So for 100 mil, I would write 56. And then I might get 200, that might be 45, and this might be 30, 38. Okay? That then allows me to draw a graph of volume in milliliters against temperature. Degrees Celsius, and I make a scale of 10, and I get 100, 200, 300. Uh, like 10, 20, or actually 20, 40, 60, and then I do a plot some points. Yeah, and we can see that there is a connection. There's a straight line we can draw, there's a terrible straight line. Um, we can draw a straight line joining them up. 
So there is a connection. If there's a straight line, then there's a correlation. It's going down, so it's not positive, it's a negative correlation. There's a negative correlation between volume and temperature change. The alternative way of writing that we can say as the and then you write your independent variable, the thing you change, as the volume increases the then you write your dependent variable, temperature change decreased. That's what we call a conclusion. This happened because and then I want you to research why that happened.